everybody. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to my kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. We have been baking up a ton of sourdough recipes this month. We've got a video for sourdough bread. We've got one for cinnamon rolls. We have one for discarded uh, sourdough discard crackers. What else? Pancakes and waffles. So the next recipe in the list are these sourdough biscuits. And these are buttermilk biscuits and they are delicious. They bake up so light and fluffy and buttery and these are gonna be one of your new favorites. So let's go ahead and dive into the details of how you can get these on your table by tomorrow morning. So you want to go ahead and get this mix started the night before you want to actually bake your biscuits. And you're gonna start out by using a cheese grater to grate the cold butter into a bowl. You can also cut it into cubes if you don't have a grater, but then you're gonna want to cut the flour into the butter. I like to use a bench scraper to do this, but you can use a fork or a pastry cutter. So go ahead and add your buttermilk and your sourdough starter to the mixture and just use your spatula to kind of mix that together. I went ahead and added a little bit of sugar, but that is optional, but I think it gets them a really good flavor. So all you do is mix that up until the dough comes together and you're gonna cover that and let it sit on your counter overnight. So once you wake up in the morning and you're ready to bake, you're going to add baking soda, baking powder and salt to this dough and you're gonna work that in with your hands. And what I recommend you do is take the baking soda, the baking powder and salt, put it into a little bowl and mix it up really well together and then sprinkle half of that onto the dough and then work that in with your hands really well and sprinkle the other half on the dough and continue to work that in really well. You wanna get it uh, incorporated into that batter really, really well. So just use your hands and work that in. And then once it's worked in, you're going to flour your work surface generously with some all-purpose flour. Turn that dough out onto the flour and then sprinkle more flour on the top. Next, you're going to just use your hands to press the dough into a rectangular shape, about one inch thick. And then you'll use a biscuit cutter. I like to use the uh, three inch biscuit cutter. If you don't have that, you can also use a glass mason jar with a three inch, if you like the wide mouth, to cut these out. But just press straight down. You can wiggle it just a little bit to separate the dough from the biscuit cutter, but just go straight down and pull it straight back up. If you twist that biscuit cutter, it's going to seal the edges and it's gonna prevent the biscuits from rising very well. So just go ahead and arrange the biscuits in the uh, skillet. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, go ahead and just use a baking sheet and arrange those biscuits about a half inch apart from each other. And I just gather up these scraps and kind of push them together and go ahead and cut out as many biscuits as I can. I usually get about 12 out of this recipe with this size cutter. And at this point with the scraps, I don't really care how they look. I just don't want to waste any dough, so. Now you'll want to have your oven preheating to 400 degrees. And then once you get these all arranged in the pan, then you can go ahead and bake these for about 25 to 30 minutes. You want to bake them until they're nice and golden brown on top. And then once they come out of the oven, you want to serve them right away. So I wanted to go ahead and show you a biscuit, an example of what a biscuit looks like if you don't mix that baking powder and soda and salt in really well. You tend to get these kind of brown spots on the biscuits, which they don't taste bad, but it's almost like little pockets of those ingredients. And so they will still taste delicious, but that's what you wanna look out for. Just go ahead and make sure those are mixed in really well. And then you won't have any of those spots at all, like you can see on this one. So anyway, I hope that you enjoy this recipe 
And if you do, go ahead and comment in the uh, comment section below and give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more sourdough videos. So until the next time, bye.